Hey you guys, what's up? Hartben here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.5.2. I've looked it up a little bit, and I saw a lot of old tutorials renamed 1.5.2, even though they don't really work uh, with old files that aren't, aren't compatible and stuff like that, so I decided I'm just gonna try making one and see how it goes. So, here we go. I, in the description, I have links to all the downloads you'll need, the first one being WinRAR if you don't already have it, which I'm sure most of you already do. And uh, from there you're going to want to get the Optifine, the GLSL, which ends up being named Shaders Mod MC 1.5.2. You're going to want to get the actual shader pack, the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders, which is called SUS V10 RC7 Ultra. And then I also linked the texture pack that I like to use and something kind of weird that I've noticed is when you use this particular texture pack in this uh, size, the grass will wave, but otherwise it doesn't. I'm not sure which other texture packs the grass waving does and doesn't work with, but either way, this is the one I use. And you can download it if, that if you want to, but you don't have to. So uh, here we go. So the first thing I would recommend doing is go ahead, open Minecraft, go to options, and then click force update and then log in, and that will kind of clean your Minecraft jar, I guess you could say, so you have a fresh jar to start with, so you won't have any hiccups along the way. Um, it's pretty simple, so if you start with a clean jar, it should go nice and smooth. And, uh, I don't, I don't know if I really need to leave this open, probably not, so I'll just close that. Now what you need to do is click your start button, enter percent sign, app data percent sign and hit enter and then go ahead and open the dot minecraft jar at the very top and then go ahead and open the bin and then in that you'll you'll see minecraft now you're going to want to click open with uh, winrar archiver so i'll just click 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 out of that and then you're going to want to go ahead and delete the meta inf we don't need it and from there, double click your Optifine, get out of here, and then I'm going to hit Control A just so I copy everything, drag it on in, okay, we're good there, now I'm just going to move the Optifine file over because we've already installed it, and if you want to install just Optifine, then that's all you would need to do, that's how you install Optifine, so it's a, this is a double tutorial, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and click, double click the shaders mod MC 1.5.2. And same, same deal, control A to select everything, and then just drag it on over. Now at this point, the hardest part's already done. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. But we haven't actually installed the shader pack yet. So what we're going to want to do is, is, did I close this or minimize it? Maybe I had more than one. That was a magic launcher, but I'm not using ma magic launcher for this because I have a feeling most people don't, so. Well, it shouldn't be a magic launcher, but that's what it's calling it. Anyways, so from here, you'll you'll want to log into either a single player world or a server, whichever you prefer. Hit escape, and then I can make this a bit bigger for you guys. Hit options, and then if you see this button right here, then it works. You're good to go. So all you need to do at this point is click the shaders button, and then open shader packs folder. And then a new window window will pop up, and you're going to want to take the file named SUS V10 RC7 Ultra. You don't double click it or anything, you just take the whole thing and drag it right in. And then it'll pop up in here. And all you got to do to make sure it's activated is click it. And then, as you can see, it kind of changed a bit. And, uh, yeah. So, let's see. I can full screen this for you guys. I'm going to actually close this out and uh, use Fraps to record this because the program I'm using doesn't seem to work that great for me. And my hand is freaking out. Anyways, uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and install the texture pack while I'm at it. So I should be able to just go here, open texture packs folder, and then drag my texture pack in. 
And I'll click that and wait for a second for it to load in. Doo -doo -ba -ba -doo -ba. Yeah. All right. So now you can see the grass is waving. It wasn't before, but it is now. Where's the sun at? Let's see. Time day. Okay, time set day. Let's try that out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That looks good. So, uh, yeah. After you have that, you're pretty much done, and you can just have awesome shaders and make cool videos or take cool screenshots or do whatever you want to do. But uh, I probably should have put this at the beginning. It is very GPU intensive, so if you don't have a good graphics card, it's probably going to run horribly. <laughs> uh, don't don't be surprised if your frame rate is just obliterated. Um, but from here, you can kind of go ahead and tweak different things and see, like if you minimize your uh, your render distance to normal, for example, you'll probably get a much better frame rate. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, jump into Fraps and record the game a little bit and show you what it looks like. <laughs> 